Hey guys, this is Kayla from Kill Note Coupons, and here is my Butera Market haul for you guys this week. Everything you guys see here would have cost me $36.74. I paid $18.97 plus $0.33 cents in tax and saved $17.44. I did compare the a uh, few of the items this week to the Walmart price using the Walmart app. So um, the Walmart app will compare the prices closest to me at my closest Walmart. So some of the produce and deli and butcher items are not... Um, they don't really have like savings um, as you would see they're um, you know on sale from what they normally are but you don't really know what the savings on, on them is so I compare that, those prices to the Walmart price um, so starting off this week uh, two of the items that I price matched are, are figured out the prices for was at Walmart which was on these um, the uh, rolled pork roasts these are as you guys can see there this one was 2.9 pounds and this one was 2.71 pounds um, they are normally at Walmart, um, the, they had, like, I think it was pork loin, um, which was the cheapest and the closest I could f get it to, um, was $2.96 per pound, um, and the 2.9 pounds I picked up was 8 uh, 58. However, Butera again has theirs for 159. At the poundage I picked up was 461, and I saved 397. And then um, the other one, which was on this one, the little bit of the smaller one, again normally 296 at Walmart. The poundage I picked up, which was 2.71 pounds, would have been 802. However, at Butera again 159 per pound. Um, at the poundage I picked up was 431, and I saved 371 over that Walmart price. Then I also picked up one of the Dean's milks this week. Um, these are a limit of three this week. The Dean's uh, True Moo milks. I wanted to pick up two of these. However, they only they actually had two. However, one was like stuck way, way, way in the back, like it didn't actually come down the the thing, if that makes sense, the uh, the rack um, in the the freezer or the fridge section, and so it was stuck all the way back there, and I couldn't reach it. But these are a limit of two this week. I picked up only one because like I said they had two but I couldn't get to the uh, second one because it was stuck so um, these are normally $2.29 they're on sale for $0.99 cents. so I saved $103 or $130 and I like I said those are a limit of two um, and then the salads this week these are also a limit of two the Fresh Express salads these are normally $1.49 they're on sale for $0.99 cents. so I ended up paying $1.98 for the both and saved a dollar then the cherries, which were another item I compared the price to at Walmart. Um, these are just like the, the sweet cherries. These are normally $2.88 per pound at Walmart. At the pound I picked up, which was 1.83 pounds, would have been $5.27. However, they're on sale for $1.49 per pound. At the pound I picked up was $2.73, and I saved $2.54. That is a limit of one bag. So if I were you, I'd try and go with the biggest bag as possible, um, or the smallest if you don't want as many cherries. But um, it is a limit of one per bag. So then I also picked up some tomatoes, which I also compared the price to at Walmart as well. Um, the tomatoes, um, the slicing tomatoes are normally $1.78 per pound at Walmart. At the pound I picked up, which was 1.12 pounds, would have been $1.99. However, they're on sale at Butera for $0.79 cents per pound. So at the pound I picked up, it was $0.88 cents and I saved $1.11. Then I also picked up a 5-pound bag of potatoes. Walmart sells the... Um, these type of potatoes per individual pound, so that's what I compared um, the price to, and then I just um, you know multiplied that by by five for the five pounds. So it's normally seventy eight cents per pound. Um, so five pounds would have been three ninety. However, um, the five pound bag at Butera is a dollar uh, dollar forty nine per pound. So that's thirty cents a p or thirty cents a pound. So I ended up saving two dollars and seventy one cents. And then lastly, I picked up two loaves of the Italian bread. Um, these are a limit of two this week. They are normally $1.69. They're on sale for $0.99. Cents. I paid $1.98 and saved $1.40. So I'll share with you guys my receipt from this week. As you guys can see up at the top was the pork and then the milk, the... Um, the salads, cherries, and then the tomatoes, potatoes, and bread. So down there you guys can see my subtotal was $18.97. After tax I paid $19.30 and I saved 
roughly $17.44. So that's it for me this week. If you guys have a haul from any stores, I would love to read or hear about them via video, picture, comment. You guys can also find these deals and more, po more posts on my blog, kill killingitwithcoupons.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, and Tumblr, along with our two other YouTube channels, our daily vlogs, and our Nizzynet, which will all be linked down in the description below. And also, our Nizzynet video is coming out today. So if you guys would, please subscribe over there and here, and I'll talk to you guys all next week. Bye, guys. This is Kayla from Killing It With Coupons, and here is my Walmart haul for you guys this week. So this week, I did add match to two stores for some of my produce, um, Valley Produce and then also at Meijer this week. Um, so the items that I price matched were the grapes, avocados, uh, broccoli, the zucchini, and then 